So look, everybody loves a good slip and fall too, Jake. And that's what we've got coming up next. It was suggested oh. by KCW on X. And it's from the Greatest Royal Rumble a couple of years back. Let's have a look at this fucking nightmare. This is number 39 into the Rumble. 39 men. And the leader of Titus Worldwide, Titus O'Neil. Titus had a very busy week here in Saudi Arabia. He's had dinner with many princes and very important people. And he oh. just... <laughs> oh my God, what the heck? What did Titus just... Oh, this is what I just saw. Did that really happen? Oh my God. Oh my God, did that happen? Yes, it did. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, brutal. Oh. That may be the greatest thing I've ever seen. That may be the greatest moment in Royal Rumble history. It really might be the greatest moment ever. Maybe he thought that Hornswoggle was under the wow. ring. Just wow. Just brutal, dude. You know, I've, I've seen that before. Have you? Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, I was in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I was refereeing at the time. And... uh uh, Buck Robley was wrestling Kid Mantel. All right. And Buck was the evil one, of course. And there was a guy that used to work called the Hippie. I don't know, Mike Boyette. I've heard the name. Yeah, he's just, he was unfucking believable, man. He was the greatest bumper. I think he really got screwed around in this business because he had so much fucking talent. It was unbelievable. Wow. He had an unbelievable look. He was a scary motherfucker. No shit. Oh, yeah. I got to look but this he, guy up. But he'd just fuck up shit, man. <laughs> like one time in Mobile, they had him ride a motorcycle to the ring. Well, he wound up riding it to the ring, all right? He wound up crashing it into the fucking ring. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucked him and the motorcycle up. <laughs> but this night, he's going to do a run-in, right? Mm-hmm. So we're in Louisiana. It's summertime. It's sweaty as shit. And the floors are sweating. There's concrete, so it's slippery as glass. Oh, Lord. So I turn around. They said, see if he's coming yet. So I turned around. I see he just came out of the locker room. So he's got a ways to run. So I turn my back to him so he can run down there, you know. And I wait. And I wait. And I wait. Where the fuck is he? And he never came out. <laughs> he never came out. We had to finish the match. And people are laughing. I'm like, what the fuck happened? They said he's under the ring. I went under there. He had knocked himself out. Oh, my God. Like 16 stitches in his head. He split his fucking skull bad, man. <laughs> But he was fucked up for several days. Holy shit. Yeah, man. He really fucked himself up, man. He wow. had to have cracked his skull, man, because uh, like I said, 16 stitches. But he was he was under there a good 15 minutes. My God. That yeah. So I mean, at least in Titus's case, he's just like it was embarrassing. He got that he back up, tied. came on yeah. in. <laughs> he he should have brought something out with him. Right. Then it'd been cool. Yeah, you can make that work, but if holy he pulled shit. a table out or a yes. chair or a dildo. <laughs> a uh, dildo. I'll tell you what, that would be a real hell of a that. That's a new weapon that needs to happen in some of these hard. Oh matches. yeah, yeah. Porn on wrestling's around right around the corner. Oh yeah, <laughs> come come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's yeah, that's, you, that's our tagline. You're coming up with some real gems today, Jake. Oh yeah, uh, come with me. <laughs> <laughs> come with me. Yeah. 